So what's really cool about this is that we just had their mating season a couple of months ago. Maybe maybe more than that, two or three months ago. And these are all the babies from this season. And they've washed up on the shore. Look at all of, Look at all of these. Oh my god. You want to take over on the camera? Sure. If you don't mind. Mm -hmm. So these are. Hey, what am I looking at? Oh. Your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so these are sea hares. This is the ragged sea hare. And they have a lifespan of about a year. A few months ago, they had their mating season, and each grown individual has about 80 million eggs in its lifetime, all at one time. And we're seeing a lot of these matured animals from the season on the beach right now. There are hundreds of them washed up. And usually with like nature people, you don't want to mess with nature. If it is washed up on the shore and they die from it, then that's how, you know, Animal Planet runs. And, the scientists can't get involved, but this is not Animal Planet. <laughs> so we're probably gonna toss these back in the water. Well, I was just looking at what happens with that, and they're pretty much just gonna keep washing them up, because I just pulled a bunch of them out, and they're already up there again. But whatever makes you feel good. If you wanna go against your scientific things. Look, some of the... It, Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna, I may not toss all of them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lot of them back in the water because everybody needs a little help right now. Just be careful where you step. Are they swimming? Yeah, they're good. Like there's a methodical way I can go about this. There's a methodical way you can go about it? Yeah, like the ones furthest. That one's dead. Ew. Yep. Yeah. Some, some of these are dead. You might want to go with the ones closer to the water because well, those guys are, might be gone already. I think that they might be alright because they have more moisture. I think the ones that are furthest from the water are the ones that are most likely to die, which is why I'm throwing them. I'm most likely to be dead. Well, that too. Well, it looks like the tide goes up a little bit. I just love sea hares. They're so cool. How do you know these are the babies and not the ones that already already had their babies? And they're just because like, okay, we're done. When the sea hares, when these are fully grown, this species is about six to eight inches long, but some of the other species of sea hare get 12 to 14 inches long, so these are just too small to be fully grown. What if they just got here and saw the state of the world and said, nope, we're checking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, then this is their sign to not check out. Yes. Look at all of them, like... Ah. Yeah. Almost in five minutes. Alright, well, we're gonna keep doing this, and... I don't know if we'll get all of them back in, but we'll get some of them back in. 
And one thing to keep in mind too is that the reason these animals have so many 80 million in one lifetime, like their offspring, is because low chance of survival to adulthood. So if not all of them make it, it is okay, but I, I just want to help some, so that's what I'm going to do. It's a good example of a mixture of personal and professional beliefs combined. I think these ones are okay. I wonder if the tide is coming in or going out. It is going out. It's going out? Low tide is at 2.30. It's going out. The tide's going out.